Hi, and welcome to the CRE at Home Worship Session. This is the first time we've done something like this online, so we really hope you enjoy and are blessed by this time of worship. The worship session that follows is brought to you by Lou Fellenham. Good morning, everybody. It's so good to be with you this morning. For those of you who've been tuning in over the last few days, I hope that you've really encountered God as you've lifted your eyes to Him. My name is Lou, and this is my husband, Nathan, and we're really excited to be with you because we know that God loves it when we worship Him, when we praise Him, when we bring our gifts of thanks to Him. So we just want to do that again today. I don't know where you're at. I don't know what's going on in your mind, in your heart, but why don't we just bring all these things before God and just lay them before him now why don't we just pray Holy Spirit come and breathe on us again today come and fall afresh on us come and heal our hearts heal our minds give us faith for the things that you have for us in the mighty name of Jesus Amen we're going to start our worship time with a song called our God is for us
Lord, we want to thank you that you are our God. And as Psalm 46 says, that you are a refuge and our strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though it, the mountains tremble at its swelling. We will not fear, because there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Be still and know that I am God, he says. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Amen. You were the word in the beginning. One with God, the Lord most high. What a power. 
I've just been thinking about the fact that today we have the victory in Jesus. It's in Jesus that we have victory because of what he accomplished with his death, with his life, with his resurrection, with the fact that he is now seated in the heavens. We have victory in Christ and we have victory in Christ now because of what he's accomplished but by the power of the Spirit. And you know, when Jesus went and ascended into the heavens, he said, I'm going to leave you a helper. I'm going to leave you my spirit. I'm going to leave you uh, uh, somebody to help you through uh, your life, to prepare you, to, to give you strength, to give you, uh, to encourage you, to bring revelation, um, to give you power, to give you breakthrough, who also intercedes for us. The spirit groans for us when we don't even know how to pray. And this next song, uh, I really felt I wanted to bring to you. It's called Jesus, You're With Us. And the temptation through this season that we're going through is feeling that we're alone, feeling that we're forgotten or we're abandoned. And this can lead us down very lots of different paths, lots of different ways. And our minds and our hearts can, can fall, can feel sorrow. But you know, Jesus wants you to know that you don't need to feel those things today. That if you do feel those things, you can come and bring them to him, knowing that he is with you. And as I say, he, he has no rival over your life today. And those things that are, are trying to come against you, those things that are trying to come against the rule and reign of Jesus in your life. Actually, Jesus has won the victory. So we're going to sing this song to you, Jesus, you're with us through it all. And if you need help today, if you need to know his nearness, you need to know his power, you need to know his love, I just want to encourage you and invite you to open up your hands right now and ask him to come and reveal that to you.
you that when you feel the darkness invading you, when you feel like the life is being sucked out of you, that you know that from John it says this, it says, in the beginning was the Word, we were just singing about Him, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning, all things were made through Him, and without Him not was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of the men. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. I just want to pray for us today that as we walk through our lives, whether we're having to be bound, whether we're having to be shielded or whether we can be out and about, whatever it might be, whatever is going on in our minds, may we know the light and the love of God in our lives. May we know his light shining into every area. May darkness know that the light has come and the darkness cannot overcome it. Thank you, Jesus, that you're with us. Thank you that you have overcome, that the victory is yours. And that if we are in you, we are in you and we belong to you and we can enjoy your light today. I pray your peace on those that are going out to work, on those that are staying home. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. <laughs>